Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Matt, when I woke up this morning, I looked outside and I was like, well, this is not the best Saturday. Not the best, right. But then I went outside and I was like, okay, okay. not too bad. Pleasantly <laughs> surprised by the mild temperatures, exactly. I'm assuming. Yeah, at least we'll have a little more sun tomorrow, but because of the clock change tonight, you know what that means. I don't even want to say it. You don't want to say it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Earlier sunset. So the sunset this afternoon was 538 in the Burlington area, and tomorrow it'll be 436 because those clocks go back an hour tonight. So flip them back. They go back at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. December 21st, shortest day of the year. The sun comes up at 725 and sets at 415. But then the days start getting longer, so it's less than two months away that we start to gain some daylight. So something to look forward to there. Now tomorrow will be brighter, some more sunshine in the afternoon. There could be a brief morning shower with some more clouds, but I think most of us see at least partial clearing by Sunday afternoon. Enjoy that because clouds increase once again on Monday, so we'll have slowly thickening clouds and then rain moves in Monday. Monday night last into the day Tuesday. I think Tuesday we could see showers wrapping up throughout the day. So wettest in the first half of the day and then the afternoon looks a little drier. Temperatures will be mild though in the 50s, but then we could be talking about some potentially wintry weather as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So more on that in just a bit. Here's storm tracker though showing us mostly dry, just some clouds out there. But again, we're watching this round of showers to the west of Buffalo because this comes in. It's pushing east pretty slowly, but it should get in here by tomorrow morning morning and a cold front off to the west meets up with some of that moisture. It turns drier behind that front, so the cold front comes through tomorrow morning into the early afternoon and knocks away some of the clouds and the showers. So you'll see that on future cast as we head into tomorrow morning. A lot of clouds, maybe a couple of showers early, but the showers aren't very widespread, so most of you may not even see a shower tomorrow morning. And then watch what happens by the afternoon. There comes that cold front and drier air, and that mixes out some of the clouds, so we see increasing sunshine throughout the day. Could be until 3 or 4 o'clock, though, that we see some sun for some spots. So a very brief window of sun for some of us tomorrow. And Monday morning should start off nice and bright, but you notice the clouds already once again on the doorstep ahead of our next storm system. So this is 6 p.m. on Monday. It's after dark. The rain starts to move into western New York and then starts to push east into the Champlain Valley. So it's wettest overnight Monday into early Tuesday morning. And there are some indications that most of the rain will be out of here by Tuesday, pushed off to the east. We'll just have some lingering showers and clouds as temperatures fall from the 50s down into the 30s. So when we look at rain amounts, not very impressive out there. We're thinking about a quarter to perhaps three tenths of an inch or so widespread around the region. So certainly something we can handle. Not a lot of rain, but just enough to be a nuisance. So again, could be a couple of nuisance showers tomorrow morning, but a slow clearing trend as we go into the afternoon. So the late afternoon is the brightest. Temperatures don't move very much tomorrow that will only top off in the mid and upper 40s and then fall back down into the 30s tomorrow night into Monday. So it's near 50 again on Monday. Not so bad out there, but we will see increasing clouds. And then on Tuesday, showers are likely temperatures in the 50s. And then we're eyeing the Wednesday into Thursday time frame at this point for some wintry weather. Notice how temperatures overnight on Wednesday go down to about 30. There could be some moisture in the form of snow and sleet during that time. And then as warmer air moves in on Thursday and Friday, it would change over to just plain old rain showers. Accumulations look very light at this time, but it's something we'll be watching throughout the first half of the work week.